Time to get back on the investigation hunt. Welcome back, everybody. It's more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is your host, EMJ406. And now it's time for us to get back on the investigation to figure out who the true murderer is of this case. Oh, I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dang place as this. Really quite moving. Not! You stay alive, I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the folly, Miss May! No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I wanted to be asked. Have you done enough questioning? You spiky head! Here we go again. Please, you're scared of the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? God, crazy bitch. Well, at least now I can't fall for your games. Not the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! I have something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Huh? You say like that? It's so cold. So criminal. Oh. Tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh? I suppose you went mad lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This phone is impossible to talk to. How about this? Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom Phoenix comes like a lawyer! The bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Do I have anything here that could... Probably not, but... Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. So I'm lost because, well, I'm not collaborating. Thanks, I noticed. <laughs> Alright, so we can't get any more information shit out of her. Hmm. Where should I go now? Let's go to the hotel, see if we can get any more facts. Maybe the first place to go look. Let's go check it out. Ah, uh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks? Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewatchers rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, a reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer would use the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It would be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! This may have to be charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The babble who brought the murder iced coffee. I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream. <laughs> so, you are honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Please we'll see if there's anything he knows about that man. Let's just make sure we get everything we can out of him. Well, Miss May. Oh, uh, huh? Sir, not the boss, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? I'm trying to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I don't think he's the murderer, but something's weird about him. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry a sense of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Hmm, a photo. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think I kind of have a name, but we should probably get some more information. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and I'll add something. I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor! Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever flows your tea set. Hmm. No picture of that man, huh? I wonder if there's something in here. Hmm. Something sounds odd about that. Like, M Mia knew her. Knew the dude. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. And of course, you never know what we can find. Let's try this. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Yeah. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Oh. You could cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked are on file here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Hmm. The sky's blue, and so am I. 
There's a hotel right across the way. Okay, so I have nothing to really get here. I guess all that's left is Grossberg Law Offices. Let me talk to this gentleman if he's here. See if I get some info out of here why he decided to not take the case. Hmm. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah, nothing new to get out of you. Is there anything I can give him? Hmm. So, who can I give something to? Ah! Oh god! You again? Do you think I can't stay gone? Hey! Lord Reeves are back here is because you won't talk to me! Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart! That does it! When this case is done, I'm shaving my head! May as well. Now, let's go over that man. Well, the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling! Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Would you have sold out the late Miss Fane to the cops? No. See? Down! Maybe I had something to get her to talk. Do I have something, though? Nope! I gotta try a lot of things. Now it's the game of trying to figure out exactly what could get her to talk, which I don't think I have on me. What the thinker? No. There's gotta be something somewhere with somebody. Something to make her talk. I got information about the guy. Yeah, I gotta be able to get something on her now. Because nowhere else is anything going on. Hmm. Maybe I give this guy something to give me a hint. About this. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. God damn it. Thanks for that. You're so helpful, sir. Hmm. God damn it. There's gotta be something I can give her. Oh, by the way, you can examine this room too. Not really a reason. <laughs> Smile for the camera. <laughs> oh, there's a guard. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. <laughs> you know, fair point. Hmm. Atari Smudge! Damn it. What could I give you? Hmm. Oh, wait, I remember now. I just realized. Take a look at that. Wait a second. Isn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah. That's a painting of... Hmm... Doesn't really matter. Fisherman? Wasn't it? That's a very memorable painting anyhow. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> None of it would have mattered. Hmm... Oh, there's nothing here. Hmm. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Someone's written on a pencil in the back. DL6 Incident, Exhibit A. DL6 Incident, Exhibit B. Hmm, let's take a look at these. Hmm. May as well look at both. Huh. I'm sure I see this person somewhere. I'm just gonna borrow this photo. I don't want to mess just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Why not? Hmm. Oh no. Well, lies of the desk. Who's that? I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah, let's take that one. I think I'll swap them. There we go. Hmm. This might be the man that was there with Miss May. Let's see. How about this? Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. I mean, sure. Well, sure. Why not? Yes! 
I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Thank you. Jeez. I think Miss Bank could play dumb for this. And there we go. Now we got information to get her done in. Hey! I know who you're with now. Have a look at this. Look, I've done several times. Did I tell you? <laughs> Where did you? Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No! No! That's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof! Show me proof! I'm so close! I do now! Ha <laughs> ha! Can you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's off and of it. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm getting somewhere! Screw her! This is it! All or nothing! Time to do a little bluff! No use playing dumb! If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press! What?! Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine! I'll talk! You you win, lawyer! Yes! Yeah, that's all good. It's great to be alive! Why are you popping your fist in the air? <coughs> Sorry. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Carp. Aha, uh -huh, Red White? Wow. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it the detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, shit. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If Mabel May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Oh, boys, off and off it, discarded. No need for that. I'll present this. And she still hates my guts. Any more info can get out of her? No. All right, then. Now we've got a new destination, Blue Corp. Go check it out. Perhaps we'll get some... Whoa. This does look like an exquisite office. Hmm. That looks familiar for some reason on the wall. Huh. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage! What the? Oh god. Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by! Um, right? Phoenix right. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant task vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Although we are getting somewhere. Hmm. I'm wondering about that, by the way. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but the originals. That's right, there's a bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. I see. What was that? I saw to a man holding up the world. The blue corpse side is certainly standing out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too mutatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too mutatious for just about anyone to appreciate. Jeez, man. What are these trophies? An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's Special Runner-Up, Best Participation, Judge's Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. The words Judge's and Special kind of stand out. Yeah. You know what? Why don't I just talk to him? That should be enough for now. So let's see what he has to do with this. 
Miss May's an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct! She was my secretary! What do you mean secretary? What a shock it was to her what she has done! What she has done? You made a wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones! Tapping them is not in her job description! She just gather information for us as part of her duties! But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods! It's inevitable that she would do this! Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, on the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I said I'd pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy! Oh god, I like that fish. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. You raise a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police! The courts! To me, they are mere toys! Play things for my amusement! Let's keep going here. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah! Excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information! We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future! Sell information? In just ten years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now! Ah, in case you're wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue, I figured. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so! You're an American stereotype from Japan, aren't you? <laughs> I guess. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course! Fantabulistic, is it not? Okay, fair enough. One more question. Oh, uh, something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I have seen it before. I, you know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Long, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again. Who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. Grody Burger? What? Ow! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it. What is you who will be found guilty? What? Hear my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Compensation? You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs. Yes. You must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Hmm. Go now. Skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. I may as well go see if he's back. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Hello, Grossberg. Hello? Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <coughs> Drop it, you Oh, no! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not seeing out yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Hmm. I may as well start getting some info out of him. So let's see. So, you came to see the trial? Yes! Yes, I did! Something was bothering me all last night, you see! Couldn't get a wink of sleep! Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... It's your sister, that poor girl! My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly! I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl! Yeah, no thanks to you, dick. Maybe you should have actually taken her case! As before, but... Why do you refuse a request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no. I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Hmm, just seem trouble about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. It might be about that man. 
So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I should. Mr. Crossberg, I have to admit, Sully's been bothering me. Oh, what does it? Well, out with it, my boy! You see, it's just. Yeah, that painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Court. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. There's a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes. I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. <laughs> You're lovers! Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? Aha! I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me a thunderstudy. Perhaps it was fate? What's he talking about? Hmm. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in fighting people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Holy crap! 15 years? I'll be comfortable with that. DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Ah, the name of the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Why would it have destroyed me if I did? Aha! So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives him an iron grip. Oh, it's judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of pretty years. Damn. I'm gonna find out more about this crap. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 50 years ago now, I received a request for a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Ray. Faye! Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the request of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and at the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. The case is the DL6 incident. Hmm. But why were you held responsible for this? Why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. And one person found out. I... I told him. Oh! You told White? He offered me witches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were boxed far and wide. The secrets... They began looking for the one who stole them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Ah, I see. White controls the law of the country as he sees fit, and if you would still challenge him. Have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She follows every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Aha! So there is something to find there. Thank you, Grossberg! It's funny. Look at this room. It seems so normal. I would imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe we should have another look. Yeah, let's see. Let me go around our files. Mia's desk. Perfectly as always, the only thing missing is her. Let me go through here. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. In alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Like this. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Uh, a, B, F. Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Why not? I've tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words my mother managed. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience of the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. That's Parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and co coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So, you knew Grossberg. I mean, yeah. It was her pro... She was his protege. Let's look through here. 
Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe we'll just take skim some of this. Why not? Uh, well, no harm flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end of an S. Suicide? Ew. Here's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. <gasps> There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Might throw them all to... Whoa, I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. May as well keep examining. Let's keep checking. Let's see if there's anything in here. Might be something on White himself. T-U... I know W! White! Hmm? The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Huh. Yeah. Looks like I finally have dirt on him! Ha ha! Finally! Now I'm the one in charge! Well, oh, it's you, persistent! Sorry. But there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I literally had time to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me! If you try my patience further, I fear nasty accidents may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Let's keep going. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put, put this guy on the spot quick. What's the matter? You seem distressed. Let's keep going with this. This guy's pro pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps! I just really want to examine you. There's no point asking someone this crooked as a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, yes, there's my eyes, and my nose, and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mouth, my friend. If it's okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor, I would not think less of you. Oh, for God's sake. Fine, we'll just present this. We have some information on what you've been doing, so let's see. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Racist bitch! Whoa. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. I wouldn't say Brian. Let's just go with the thing that he blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him! Blackmail? Not just him. Either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. Or would you prefer blue mail? You know, you, you know, whatever. You were involved in all the suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What's a bizarre accusation? Mr. Wrong! What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Be oh, God. Here's from Secretary's office. Hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White! Hmm. I wonder. Dude, you're right. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him! He's sitting right in front of me! Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Yeah. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Oh, boy. Oh, God. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Oh, God. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Why, that you? Why are you calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. 
send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Oh God, Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Uh oh, this could be bad. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look, in look competent. I... I feel faint. Oh god. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir! Ah, uh, Butts! Hey, Butts! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Butts was the, that murderer, right? Oh my god. Detective Gumshoe, I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay! What? Take this despicable human being into custody! Mm. Farewell, Mr. Wrong! Oh, how the tables have turned! Against me! Damn it! Well, this is funny. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. What's going to set a trap for me? And the prosecutors will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Oh, my. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, God! Oh, Maya! Nice to be able to visit me, even though I'm the one that's actually behind there, but whatever. Great. Well, you have detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha! <laughs> I'm afraid we switched places. What? You, you mean new? Yep. I explained what had happened to Maya. Or more of what happened to me just now. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. Now you! This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Help me break out of here! Right, okay, listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. You mean, a jailbreak? Yeah, tonight's our only chance. All right! Huh? Oh, I better go get a hacksaw while this doors are still open! Oh, oh! And a rope ladder, and a getaway car! Can you drive? Wait, 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 wait! What, what, what? I'm kidding! It was a joke! Oh my god, I'm a lawyer! No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. <laughs> and there really isn't anything you do for me anyway. I don't expect you to really break me out of the hacksaw. But, I can't just sit here and do nothing! I've gotta give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Yeah, good luck with that. Please help, I guess. Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's gotten worse. I think court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. But this man, with a true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Whoo! What a setup we have! The man who's most likely the murderer has set us up as the murderer. What a dick! Oh well. So either way... We managed to get him to come to court. So, come back next time and maybe we'll actually get to put him away. Because, uh, well, that's really all I can hope for at this point. I hope we put him away. Because, uh, yeah. Do I seem like the kind that would murder people? I'm hoping you'll say no.